Welcome back to Quadrilateral Cowboy. Last episode, we finished the in the cage job, thanks to the help of our new little weevil. Yeah, I think they're called weevils. The EXE is called Weaver for some reason, but they're weevils, and ours is named Nell. So let's do job one, Pig Square. Yeah, so same place, just the car over now. Ah! <laughs> the little hatch is now rather weevil-sized. So we can't go in. Our little weevil has to go in. Oh, it's gonna have to fall in there. Oh no. Or perhaps I can just... I guess I could just drop it straight in there. Uh, actually, I don't think it lets you place it in the air. Nope. Has to be placed on the surface. Alright, little buddy. Eh. Definitely gonna need our CCTV for this, because not gonna be able to see it at all. the CCTV like 45 degrees like that I think that'll be good eh. almost eh. yeah I guess that's fine kind of have to crane my neck to the side but whatever okay um connect Nell uh, let's do video two. No, let's do video one. Data link. Is that not it? Data, uh, what's the... Data jack. Data jack. Data jack. Zero. Go 20. Go, 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 go. Yes! I'm so sorry, little buddy. Oh, landed on your feet. Um... What was it? Stand? Do they even need to? Nah, they're they're totally fine. Kind of look. It's hard to tell whether their feet is like, I don't know, in the ground or whether they're just normal but just really close to the ground because they're always close. If that makes any sense, I always worry that they're like they've clipped through the ground, but they never are. Oh, we're gonna have to jump. Or maybe not. There is a data jack down on the floor. Turn 10 degrees to the right. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Stop. Oh, I think the data jack, like, swung open and started blinking when we were in range of it. Gate open and vault open. What's the gate? Oh. We can get in now. Hey, little buddy. I don't... I think we can just take our little buddy out now. I think that's it. Objective complete. job. Now, Ramp Scallion. Next car over. This feels too easy. Oh, I think 
I can place Nell in there. Yes. So we're going to have to try to jump. Yeah, I don't don't think we need the CCTV for this. Oh. I want to be able to see it while I'm typing on the deck. Yeah, there we go. Actually, are we still connected? We might be still connected. Can I just say jump? Yeah. Oops. No. There we go. Turn minus like 60 degree. Oh, sh wrong way. Turn. Wait, what? Oh, that's a plus sign, even though I'm pressing not the plus sign because my keyboard turned over to finish as it sometimes does without me actually setting it to that. I don't know why it does that. Anyway, fixed. There we go. Minus like a hundred. I feel like it's close enough to the data link, but it's not blinking. I don't know. Go 10. Oh, there we go. Uh, gate 2A open. Yes. And then vault open. Oops, data hack. Ah, whatever. Thanks, Nell. Objective complete. Job done. <laughs> Contract done? What are we getting this time? Oh! Baby cat! Differential turbine. Differential turbine launcher mark two. Use launcher to propel equipment or acquisitions or personnel. Max eighteen hundred kilograms. That's a lot. That's like a isn't that like a car? Use remote stash. Oh, we can remote control it? Oh no, this is to move where it's going to go. Oh, it's controllable. That's cool. Let's put ourselves in the trash because we are trash. Bonk. Oh, there's a hoop up there, I just realized. Uh, I 
think that's going through the hoop? Kinda? Not exactly. Maybe it's good enough. Oh, we don't fit. I don't know if that went through or not, but I'm going to say it did. So this is something we just put down anywhere, isn't it? <coughs> oh, so this itself is one of those towers of trucks, vans, whatever they are. So these are all like little, I mean, they're cars that have been, what, converted into living places? I don't know. Bizarre. Stay hungry. Okay. And this is adult night school for Maisie. Also for journeyman study of engineering, just like Lou, was it? A little helicopter. Mammal jammers. Bite-sized... Bite-sized what? What are they? <laughs> Made from real mammals. Whoa, so many awards. Video program, Adam Zombie Smasher. Flotilla. Hey, that's the bike that we use. Hey, that's this game. <laughs> It would suck to actually live here. I'll leave the light out. They're sleeping. Bergamot bank job. Ooh. The Shorgan you trust. When you absolutely have to keep it safe, keep it in a... Shrogan? I don't know how to pronounce that. The official security vault of the Prism Nation. Solid caramelized steel can withstand falling from low orbit stratosphere. Low friction tempered sightings. 24 live locking bolts. Nine anti-breach points of pressure. Vault from Bergamot 1. Ah, that's probably what we're going to be doing with our launcher. I could definitely take the weight. Cool. Gravity yank. Let's go. Oh, look at how high up we are.
Tower 3. Bring Vault here. The Vault is in Tower 1. Trembler security floor pad. 10 seconds. Security turret turns on. Right. Two plus alarm triggers. Ballistic security zeppelin. Oh no. So there's a downside to triggering alarms more than once in this case. Do we have a thing about the launcher in here? Uh, yeah. The Bian Yensu differential turbine launcher propels objects and personnel across long distances. Mm-hmm. Turbine, pitch you off, fan speed. Okay. Yeah, I already know all that stuff. I like all these cans here, like I've just been hanging out, observing or waiting. <coughs> Tropic Mega Rail Free Observation Deck. This project was conceived and built by Miss Mega's lifetime friends and sixth form college classmates Jory, Helsey, and Yuniza. Strong wind. For your own safety, please stay back from rail-free edge. Why would you have a rail-free spot on an observation tower? That's so freaking dangerous. <laughs> hey, let's use the launcher here. And see if we can get... Oh. <laughs> see if we can get up there. Oh, heck yeah. Damn. Can I just, like, keep climbing? This is surely going to result in my death. Ugh. Gonna bonk some poor bystander on the head. Alright, so obviously I'm gonna have to launch myself to somewhere. Can I launch myself to somewhere that far away without just reaching like terminal velocity and dying? I, let's try it. Just how far can this thing go? Damn! This thing could go so far! I wonder if it would slow my speed to hit a wall instead of falling all that much? Like, this looks like a lot of falling. That's not so much. So as soon as I use this, I mean, it's gonna be stuck here. And then I won't be able to use it anymore. Right? I mean, there's no way to recall it. Can I take it as I'm being zipped away? Oh, Jesus! Ow. Snappy noises. Why did it put me off in that direction? Eh. Oh, Jesus Christ. I guess... Yeah, looking at the angle. Yeah, that makes sense. I'd bounce off in that direction. I thought this yellow beam coming off of it was indicating what direction you'd come after you hit, but I guess it doesn't. Just to indicate where your circle is, I guess. Okay, so breaking glass would result in an alarm going off, most likely. Oh no. If this falls into the void, I guess you're just screwed, right? Um, Talonet, bridge, one, bridge, um, bridge one dot open for three seconds. 
Um, that will give me a range of the data jack on the other side. Okay, so that is useful. Duh, God. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Ah. <sighs> oh, right. There's the safe, but it's on a pressure switch. Oh, that's the... that's the gun. <laughs> yeah. So... Oh! Here we go! <laughs> Wait, seriously? That, oh my god, that actually worked. I didn't even know that was the end. I saw the purple thing. I was just I was just messing around. I'm like, I have no choice. I obviously did this completely wrong. I guess that is kind of what you're supposed to do, sort of? I guess. Nah, I'm not convinced. I want to restart. There's got to be a better way to do this. Like... Like, what's over here in this other tower? Maybe that's just for the next job. Maybe it'll kill me if I go there, because it's really far down, but let's try it. Yeah, yeah, that's really going to kill me. <laughs> oh, that's going to kill me so bad. Maybe if I bounce off a little bit. Wow, really? Look at that. It's like I exploded. Yeah, what the heck's in here? There's another vault. That's upside down. This one's not. Gentlemen, security... L uh, this literally cannot be opened. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, could Nell crawl under these pipes, perhaps? Uh, yeah. Looks like it. Yeah, I can't do anything from here. Nope. Don't do that. Yeah, that's good. Uh, weave... Oh, weaver. Connect. Nell. One. Which way are we facing? I think we just need to go forwards. Yeah. Excellent. Is that just going to open underneath me or what?
Oh, oh, it closed again after a while. Right. Oh, wow. That closes really fast. Really, really fast. Okay, we gotta get, like, really close to it. Or maybe just beyond it, I guess. I guess we just gotta be on it. No! Oop. Bye, buddy. Oh, I gotta reconnect. Okay. Stand. Oh, there's the vault. So I think we need to find a data jack. I see like a lever. I don't see how we could do anything with that, but let's go check it out. Oh, I see the data jack. I love little Nell. Nope, still not close enough. There we go. Gate open. Thanks, buddy. Alright, so same setup as the other one. Ten, nine, I didn't eight, mean to trigger that, actually. Seven, six, Shit. Five, four, three, two, one. Time expired. Whew. Oh. My god. <laughs> we restart. Ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Wait, what? Five. Four. But I restarted. Now we good? Okay. Yeah, so I can get over there and get that. I don't know how to get it there without the launcher. But, um... I guess I'll just do what I did before. I have to use a launcher to get over there and then I'm without my launcher. Like, I think I just gotta... Jump down there and basically die. Okay, so I'm in here again. Yeah, I think I just gotta go for it. Well, I could turn out the light, then... Then the turret surely wouldn't be able to see me. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. <laughs> Bank shot. 
Choir Vault from Bergamot 2. So yeah, that's the other building. So... How am I supposed to do that? I only have one... No, I have two launchers. It says amount two. Was it there before, or did they just give me two? Pretty sure they just gave me two. Okay, so that makes it easy. <laughs> Jesus, I did not bounce off of the wall, but I still lived. Okay, back to where we were before with this. Come on, little buddy. Let's do a save. So... I guess we just need to set up a launcher that hits that over there. It doesn't need to be perfect. There we go. Let's go. <laughs> Zigzag. Vault from Bergamot 3. Ah, oh, we start down here now. Okay. How many launchers do we have? Two. the sound of those of these bolts hitting the ground again it sounds like wrenches which is weird because they're much smaller than that but it still sounds cool there's no turrets and oh never mind right So I think we need to use the two launchers, right? One to go from here to there, and then one from there back up. I'm trying to think if I can do that. Can I get both of the launchers set up at the same time, ready to go? Or am I going to have to just launch from here to there and then set up the second launcher while I'm over there? Because I absolutely could make this go... Here. And then I could go over here. And then I could set up the launcher, but then I wouldn't have any way back. I could set up the launcher to go back over there, but then it wouldn't be set up to go up. So, yeah, I think I just have to set it up when I get here. Just hope the turret doesn't kill me from here. Oh. <sighs> Jesus. Um. Okay, that works, yeah. So you can interrupt that with a grapple. So you could probably grapple in mid-air. If you can shoot past something you can grapple on, that could be a interesting tactic. Let's go. Oh no. Five, four, three, two, one. Time oh, there's one directly above us. Okay, so I see we have to be quite fast. 
Okay, hopefully that's a much more mild jump and also has a back to it. No! Ah. Uh. No! <laughs> it really does like to bounce. How? I'm not sure what to do about that. I could make it further over here. Jeez, that's bouncy. Maybe actually I just need it to be more vertical. Like this has, it's really going forwards. So what if it's more like, more like this. It's going to hit with a lot of force, but maybe it'll be better. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Time expired. Holy shit, we actually made it. Whew. So many babies. Wireless gimbal mounted turret. Wait, but this isn't actually a gun. Is it? It's. Or is it? I, what would I do with a gun, though? So I can control it wirelessly with the deck and connect to it with the CCTV, it looks like. I still really don't know what I'm going to be shooting. I guess we'll figure out. Okay. Uh, quick start. Get out of the weaver. Aim bot. <laughs> and then type help. Aim bot. Version 2.9 beta by Great Hamboni. Searching wireless land for valid autogaze units. Connection established. Model Iron Kid. Ammo. Beanbag rounds. Okay, so it's not actually shooting bullets. Optics Owl Eye. Deploy. Close. Let's... Oh, well, first we want to connect to it. Uh, do I need to specify a name? Oh, I have to deploy it first. No, don't need to specify a name. Can I say, like, connect to? Yeah. Can I say disconnect to? No. Well, now we just have a copy of the video. <laughs> Cam zoom, turn, pitch, fire, stand to regain balance. Get 
to laser dot position and set laser dot position. What does that mean? It tells me where the laser is pointing at. How how would that be useful? I guess maybe later. Maybe if you have multiple of these, you can have them all point at the same thing. I suppose so. Stand, you're already good. Cam zoom from 1 to 90. And 1 is the most zoomed in. Yes, that is very zoomed in. Forty, yeah, that's pretty good. Actually, let's go even more. Really zoomed in. So turn and pitch. Yeah, turn and pitch are how we move it. So turn. Let's try to hit the target on the left, maybe. It's pretty good. Uh, pitch. Yeah. So does the pitch have to be integers? Does it have to be one or can I do like 0 0.1? Oh no, you could totally do 0 0.1. Okay. So you can get very exact. Cam zoom 10. Oh yeah, we're right in there. Fire. <laughs> That's really cool. They get a bit of delay, too. It's a pretty slow projectile. Looks like we have a bunch of glass up there. Let's try to hit it. Uh, pitch 10. Nice. I'm guessing this stuff probably cannot be broken. How fast can this thing fire? Moderately fast. And if you give it too many commands, then it can fire in the amount of time you give them. Then it just kind of cues them up. I don't think I'm going to have to use this thing like a machine gun, though. <laughs> oh, damn! It actually makes shells that you can move around in the world. Whoa. Ah, oh, sweet. Just... Having some fun. Grand Century. Badminton shuttlecocks. Is that what they're called? Shuttlecocks? That's actually pretty fun. This is a really dangerous game of badminton. Oh. I... Win? They seem to be scared of it.
place seems under construction. People actually live there? I guess with these hover bikes, it'd be pretty easy to actually get there. <laughs> 